Come along, children. Now we're going to have a little music. What's up, everybody? It's your boy, RB3, here for a review for the new-ish horror movie, Barbarian. Uh, this is coming from, originally, I think, 20th Century Fox, but, you know, now Disney is releasing it. It's directed by uh, Zach Kreger. and stars Georgina Campbell, Bill Skarsgård, Justin Long, Richard Brake, and a handful of others. And, and the film is basically about Georgina Campbell's character. She checks into an Airbnb. Bill Skarsgård also happens to be staying there. And uh, and beyond that, I'm really not going to tell you anything else about this film because I think the less you know, the better. I really went into this film not even seeing a trailer for it. I've seen it advertised to me a bunch of times. And honestly, if you've been paying enough close enough attention to the channel, you know that uh, we've been getting invited to Disney screenings a lot lately, the early screenings for Disney movies and stuff of that nature. And honestly, they have been pushing this movie like pretty hard. Like they had a number of early screenings available because they had a lot of faith in this movie. And Honestly, I, I tried to go to some of the early screenings. A couple of them I did RSVP for, and then just traffic and other things got in the way, and I wasn't able to make it. So I, I, I caught this in theaters with a packed out crowd of, you know, with normal people. And then a couple of weeks after it came out, but still had that showing power in the theater that I was at. And needless to say, this was a movie. I can see the push behind this movie. I can see why this was such a dynamic film and such like a pop for the people who have saw it and the people, you know, who are promoting this movie because wow, what a horror film. It horrifies you and unsettles you in ways that you probably wouldn't have even thought or imagined going into the film. Now I read somewhere that Zach Kreger got the idea for this movie because he read a book called the gift of fear, which was essentially an outline for all the red flags that certain creepy men give off to women in conversation. So initially, if I'm not mistaken, this film was started off as a short film that was, you know, just a conversation between uh, Tess, who's Georgina Campbell's character and Bill Skarsgård, where he's just giving off mad red flags. But as you come to learn in the movie, what you think the movie is setting up for is not at all what the movie goes for. The first 30 minutes of this movie is very different than the second 30 minutes of this movie, which is very different than the last 30 minutes of this movie. As we come to uncover the mystery a little bit more and understand a lot more of the secrets that are, are lying underneath this Airbnb, which is located in a really distraught part of Michigan, I believe right outside of Detroit or maybe in Detroit, but you can kind of see the socioeconomic rares of, of this town, of the city of Detroit and how a lot of these houses are like eerily uh, despondent and vacant and ugly and torn down and worn down. But it's just this one Airbnb that's just nice. And, you know, that really doesn't make any sense when you think about it. But again, that's what this movie is representing. Nothing in this movie like really should be making sense, even though it really does. And there's not and what's honestly more impressive about this movie is that there isn't a mystical element to it. There isn't something that, you know, is supernatural. I do believe a lot of the events of this movie are, you know, real life or real life inspired. I mean, this isn't based on a true story or anything, but, you know, this is real life horror that, you know, has been dealt with throughout our history. And I, I don't want to say too much more, you know, without getting into it, but man, it's just, it's a powerful film. Um, I highly, highly recommend this movie again it's really hard to recommend it's really hard to review this film without giving away too many details as to why it's great but the narrative structure is absolutely impeccable you're left wondering and twisting and turning all the way through it takes you in directions you never thought the movie would take you um and a lot of times it's actually remarkably funny it's darkly funny in some ways um thanks to certain characters who come in in the later half of the movie and the biggest thing that stands out to me is the cinematography um this is kind of touching into like life spoiler territories but there is a flashback sequence that occurs in this film that is shot on a very short lens and kind of uh, stands statically behind a character as he's walking through certain spaces and, and throughout a community. And that sequence is one of the most terrifying sequences I've ever seen ever. And it was impress it was remarkably, remarkably impressive because they didn't show that much in that sequence. Like they didn't show anything too violent or too over the top, but it was just the luring, the mystery, the editing, the way the editing they, you know, this movie has a lot of creative uses of match cuts, has a lot of creative uses of sound editing and mixing and implying things from, you know, 
earlier, you know, it has a perfect setup and execution and payoff structure that kind of rise throughout this film too. So overall, I'm really, really enjoying this movie. This is one of my favorite films uh, of this year, uh, favorite horror films of this year. And, you know, honestly, I've seen a lot of movies this year. I've seen a lot of horror this year. I've seen movies like X. I've seen movies. I haven't seen Pearl yet. A lot of people have been recommending Pearl. And I also haven't seen Smile. But uh, I've seen a lot of horror this year. But honestly, The bar- Barbarian is at the top of that list for me. Uh, let me know what y'all think down in the comments down below if you have seen Barbarian. If I'm not, I, I know it comes out on HBO Max October 25th. So that's kind of why I wanted to get this review out uh, now. So, you know, if people want, haven't checked it out yet and y'all want to check, it, check out check it out on HBO Max is going to be there in a couple of weeks. That being said, y'all, let me know if you have seen it in theaters. What was your theater reaction? Did your crowd react in the same over-the-top, you know, wild ways that my crowd did? Let me know in the comments down below. Uh, also, shout-out to this movie only being on a $4 million budget and making something like $38 million worldwide. That's huge. You know, that's a huge upgrade for a small budget feature coming from a relatively indie director getting a, a, a big theatrical release and getting streaming on hbo max so that's huge um anyway y'all that's all i got for barbarian uh check this movie out when you got a chance uh and if you haven't uh, already subscribe to first cut hit the like button comment check out our other videos follow us on tiktok Andres is killing it over there talking about house of dragons i don't even watch that show but i always repost the tiktoks because they be killing it um and yeah, follow us on Twitter and Instagram too, at First Cut TMO, but definitely follow us on TikTok. And that being said, I'm RB3. Subscribe to the channel. Peace.